Please help me welcome the next comedian coming to the stage, Josh Grambo. Let him hear it. What's up, y'all? You ever have someone call you up just to tell you that they have an STD? It's got nothing to do with you. You answer the phone, you just hear, well, I got crabs. And you go, Grandma? It's traumatizing. That's just happened to me before. And they even have a term for that. They call it PTSD STD. I learned that term on Law and Order PTSD STD SVU. It's on late. You guys might not have seen it. But I can't shame her. We're too progressive for that. 2020, we're too progressive for shame. Everything's getting more progressive. I look forward to the time when like everything gets progressive, you know? Even things like racism and homophobia, they gotta come along too, right? I'm looking forward to the day when some homophobic dad has a gay son. He goes, look, my son's gay, but he's a top. <laughs> he's not some sort of pin cushion. <laughs> Your folks should go, ah, it's more progressive. <laughs> Me, I'm super progressive. I have a six month year old daughter. If she turns out to be trans, I'm gonna be stoked. Because I always wanted a son. Uh, you ever have a reverse nightmare? You ever have a reverse nightmare? Where you have an amazing dream and then you wake up to your shitty life? <laughs> Happens to me constantly. The other night I had a dream that I was rich, single, and I had hair. And then I woke up bald, broken with a baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a six month year old little daughter. I love watching her grow, figuring out all her likes and dislikes. We took her to get vaccinated last week. As soon as the needle touched her, she fucking freaked out. And I was like, great. My baby's an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> they start early with this shit. So she was born this year, which means that if you do the math, that means that she's gonna graduate in the year 2037. Yes, 2037. My girlfriend's like, should we start a college fund? I was like, we should start hoarding water. <laughs> it's cute, you think this shit's just gonna work out. <laughs> oh. She's beautiful though, I love her. We're getting married in three weeks. Next uh, March 20th, we're getting married. I'm glad you're stoked. Uh, her parents, they're not rich, but they made a very, very nice offer to us. They said that they're gonna let us on our honeymoon, they're gonna send us anywhere that we wanna go, and they're gonna pay for it. And they're gonna let me pick. You believe that, the son-in-law gets to pick? They're like, Josh, anywhere that you wanna go, we'll send you, we'll pay for it. I was like, anywhere I wanna go, you're gonna pay for it? I told her, I'm a broke comic. I wanna go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm not healthy. <laughs> ah, I don't want to see Hawaii. I want to see my daughter grow up. <laughs> I'm so pale that if I stand in front of a white wall, I look like a haunted beard. <laughs> Just floating there. All right, guys, you guys are really amazing. My name's Josh Granville. That's been my time. <laughs>